हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड ऑल्सो अ न्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज जीन्स एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन और इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट अराइज इज वाट इज अ बोन मैरो सो इट इज अ सॉफ्ट स्पॉन्जी टिश्यू दैट फिल्स द कोर्स ऑफ लार्जर बोन्स इट सर्व एज एन एक्टिव फंक्शन इन द बॉडी दैट इज बाई प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑल द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द ब्लड सेल्स एज वेल एज लिम्फोसाइड्स विच सपोर्ट द इम्यून सिस्टम दैट इज अ मैरो प्रोड्यूज आर बी सीज डब्ल्यू बी सीज एंड प्लेटलेट्स एंड इन डब्ल्यू बी सीज ऑल्सो लिम्फोसाइड्स मोनोसाइड्स इसिनोफिल पेसोफिल एंड न्यूट्रोफिल आर प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन प्रोसेस इज पी एम टी इज अ प्रोसीजर दैट इज यूज टू ट्रीट द पेशेंट्स विद लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग ब्लड इम्यून और जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर्स दिस इंक्लूड द ल्यूकेमिया एंड बोन मैरो कैंसर्स ऑल्सो इन बी एम टी प्रोसीजर बी एम टी रिप्लेस इज द अनहेल्दी ब्लड फॉर्मिंग सेल्स विद द हेल्दी वन सो हेयर अनहेल्दी ब्लड फॉर्मिंग सेल्स आर बेसिकली रिप्लेसड हेल्दी बोन मैरो स्टेम सेल्स आर हार्वेस्टेड फ्रॉम द मैचिंग बोन मैरो डोनर्स हिस्ट्री वॉज सो इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फर्स्ट बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांटेशन वॉज डन द सोर्स इज दैट इज फ्रॉम वेयर वी कैन ऑप्टेन द बोन मैरो सो दैट इज फ्रॉम पेरीफेरल ब्लड मैरो इट सेल्फ एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द उम्बलिकल कोड इंडिकेशन फॉर बी एम टी सर्जरी दैट इज इट इन वट कंडीशन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म अ बी एम टी सर्जरी दैट वट वी कैन नो इज कि विच पेशेंट नीडेड द बी एम टी सर्जरी सो देर आर टू कंडीशन फर्स्ट इज द कैंसरस कंडीशन इन विच अ पेशेंट हैव कैंसर दैट इज लुकेमिया लिम्फोमा मल्टीपल माइलोमा एंड माइलो डिस्प्लेसिया एंड इन नॉन कैंसरस कंडीशन वेयर अ प्लास्टिक अनिमिया हिमोग्लोबिनोपैथीज एंड इम्यूनो डिफिशियंसी डिसऑर्डर्स वर देयर सो देर were some procedures which are performed before the bmt procedure that is that are known as pre bmt procedures so bmt regimens vary from one patient to another and it depend upon that is the type of cancer that patient have the treatment program that is used by medical center also and the clinical trial protocol etc so the transplant process is as follows first phase is the conditioning phase so it typically lasts from 7 to 10 days the purpose are that is by delivery of chemotherapy or by radiation uh, what are the purposes these three are the purposes that is to eliminate the malignancy if there is some sort of then to provide the immune suppression to prevent the rejection of the new stem cells that is the new stem cells that are uh, obtained from the donor they should not be rejected in the patient and create the space for new cells that is new cells should be adopted by the person's body or the patient's body then stem cell processing and its infusion so infusion uh, uh, takes 20 minute to an hour time the stem cells may be processed before infusion if indicated that is uh, again depletion of the t cells can be performed to decrease the gvhd it is a some sort of uh, we can say disease pre medication with acetaminophen and diphenhydramine to prevent the reaction that is when stem cells are infused in a person's body it reacted in some sort of way so to prevent the reaction we have to induce these two okay then infused through a cvl much like a blood transfusion anaphylaxis volume overload and a rare gvhd are the complications that are involved so gvhd uh, is a disease that is uh, we can say that takes place when stem cells are infused from a donor to the patient's body stem cell products they are cryopreserved they contain dimethyl sulfoxide as a preservative and they also can cause renal failure so we can say some sort of complication is involved here in this process then next 
next is the neutropenic phase so during this period that is of duration 2 to 4 week the patient essentially has no effective immune system that is the patient's immune system is very weak healing is poor and patient is very susceptible to infection a supportive care and empiric antibiotic therapy are the main stays of the successful passes through this phase so mainly these two things are needed for the successful passing of the neutropenic phase then engraftment phase so during this period several weeks it lies uh, we can say it stays for several weeks the healing process begins with the resolution of mucositis and other lesions are required in addition fever begins to subside and infections often begin to clear also uh, we can say some sort of immune system is built up at that time greatest challenge at this time are the management of gvhd and the prevention of the viral infections and last is the post engraftment phase that is this period lasts for the months to years hallmarks include the gradual development of the tolerance weaning off of immune suppression and the management of chronic gvhd and documentation of immune reconstitution so this is a diagram representing the full process first is this patient that is collection stem cells are harvested from the donor's bone marrow then processing stem cells product is processed to concentrate the stem cells are harvested from them then chemotherapy that is patient receive high dose chemotherapy or radiation therapy and at last that is infusion so a uh, fresh bone marrow or stem cells are infused in the patient's body okay and the now the type of the bone marrow transplants so there are basically two type of bone marrow transplant first is autologous and second is allogenic transplantation in autologous stem cells are obtained from the patient itself auto means self and in allogenic stem cells are obtained from a donor and in autologous stem cells frozen in the lab before the conditioning chemotherapy rejection is never a problem here because they are obtained from the patient itself fast recovery was seen and for myeloma and lymphoma diseases in case of allogenic transplantation donor must match the first condition should be that rejection can occur in both directions it takes longer time for the immune system to recover and for other blood cancers also so this is again a diagram for autogenic self okay transfer here it is the patient uh, collection of the stem cells or we can say marrow and then processing and after the transplantation so in this this is a graph representing the risk period so that was uh, very low okay as compared to the allogenic transplantation so this is a diagram representing the allogenic transplantation process so here a donor is present from which the bone marrow is collected patient processing and at last the um, patient is healed we can say then there are some adverse effects of the bone marrow transplantation first is uh, effect is seen on gastrointestinal tract that is ulcers and dysfunction okay of the gastrointestinal tract occur in skin rashes may develop hair follicles so hair may loss occur temporary and pneumonia can be seen in lungs inflammation and damaged blood vessels are there and jaundice can occur in liver another disease is that is gvhd or we can say graft versus host disease so what is this sometime occur with allogenic transplantation where marrow is obtained from the donor so lymphocytes from the donor graft attack the cells of the host that is the patient so it is usually be treated with steroids or immunosuppressive agents there are some symptoms which show that a person have gvhd first is skin or hair on on eyes lungs on liver on genital urinary okay or urinary or hematologic and musculoskeletal parts these symptoms can be seen so this is a diagram representing the gvhd situation suppose this is a patient's body and donor that is immune system in patient body uh, cells are obtained and when it is transferred into the patient body this is normal condition so nothing happens but in case of gvhd as you can see the um, shape of the cells have changed so this is all about the stem cell transplantation or we can say the bone marrow transplantation Hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel.